shut your fucking cock-sucking mouth, or I swear to Christ, I'll beat your ass right here. I'm in a really great frame of mind right now. Comic Book Man, stop filming. Is that your neighbor see you? You're running around with an erection, chasing a chicken? Yeah, I'm in trouble. I still have the erection. <laughs> and you're like, oh, look, he's attracted to chickens. Yeah, somebody's like, putting them on YouTube and shit. <laughs> Tell him, Steve Dave. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Him, Steve Dave. I'm your peppy host, Brian Johnson. I'm here with a BQ Quinn. Uh, hello, feeling peppy as well over here. And Walt Flanagan. Uh, I'm peppier than all three. Uh, Pep Meister uh, General. Uh, you, I should say. <laughs> you look like you've been uh, shorn a little bit. You got a little bit of a haircut? Yeah, I could cut my hair. You've been against Walt's... Uh... Yeah. It's a good move, though, because uh, well, he, look, he looks well, healthier than he's yeah. looked... In the last couple months, you look uh, you looking sweet. All right, no, I'm feeling good. Yeah, you look good. Thank you. Yeah, what was that movie you cited though? Uh, oh, um, seven. Brad, Brad, no, that Brad Pitt movie. Yeah, no, that's what oh, I look like. Legends of the Fall. Legends of the Fall. Yeah. No. Well, you snipped out your gray. What's wrong with everybody and their gray? gray. No, it looks like you snipped out your gray from the side. Okay. He didn't tell the. Uh, was it a? What did? Was it a female or male uh, head hairdresser? Uh, female. You didn't tell her to uh, make, make consciously, you know, if you can get the grays out, I wouldn't no. mind it, honey. No, I need I to like look like I'm in my teens. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like my grays. You do? Yeah. yeah, I like them. A lot of guys don't. I'm just, I, at this age, you think it shows, excited to have hair. You, but yeah, <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? yeah, but do you think it uh, it's it's viewed as, as wisdomly? No, I just think that. It depends, man. I mean, I know, know, like so. I got some gray going on. I don't think anyone's like, let's ask him. <laughs> <laughs> he looks wise. <laughs> uh, it's like it's a too late, though. I think if I started showing up with like dyed hair, or oh, it's no definitely grays. not too late because it's not real noticeable. It's very, very uh, especially now since you got a cut. Yeah, I, I mean, to be honest with you. Right. I think she probably did fucking make an effort to get all the grays out. I barely see any now. Have, there's so many though. Like I have yeah. just I have like the Reed Richards. She did a good job. You should have tipped her good and hoped you I always tip mm-hmm. I always tip good because because uh, I never can make an appointment. So I just text her when I'm on the way and she makes room. All right. So I tip well. Look at you. Hey, uh, man. The, 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 the uh, comic book men crew is looking very young <laughs> this year. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. You got. Uh, <laughs> You got me with, uh, you know, I cut my hair. Yeah, you got that sweet hair. So, so, I know where this is going. So people say I look a little younger. That he's looking at me. Correct. You know, I don't think I've seen one single gray hair on Meng's head ever. Oh, when you have no stress whatsoever, you just <laughs> float through life. But do you think grays are caused by stress? I do. You really do? Not solely caused by stress, but I do think that stress can cause it. Yeah. I thought that was a wives' tale. It's like if you get scared, if you're really scared, your hair can fall out. Do you believe that too? I hope that's true. Or turn white, like people have been like shocked, yeah. and then their hair just turns white. I don't. Yeah, I believe it's just as that's just as ridiculous as someone being like, "I work too hard, that's why I got gray hair." I don't know. I think I, it's all hereditary. I'm sure this part of it. I'm sure most of it is hereditary, but I would not be surprised. Cause stress- I love that you just mispronounced the same word that he mispronounced. <laughs> well, what did he, say? he said hereditary, and then you said hereditary. hereditary. <laughs> uh, uh, stress has an awful effect on your body, man. Stress can do a lot of bad things to you, so I wouldn't right. be surprised. And take the hair, the color out of your hair? I think it might. Hmm. I don't know. What do I know? I don't know, but we do have. Uh, yeah, we got a guy on the on the show this year that it, it it seems it feels like we're working with a teenager. You see his um, I his nice. Uh, I always die, bro. That head. Well, I wasn't really talking about you. <laughs> You've been very open about it. I was, I was, well, he's got to be open. I was about talking it. about young Elvis. <laughs> I mean, his hair is jet black now. Um, I think he got annoyed. Somebody said something on Twitter. About his hair, and he got annoyed. Yeah. Wait, annoyed at the jet black hair or the or the grays? 
annoyed that somebody mentioned, I guess, that he had uh, dyed his hair. That's crazy. He went so dramatic. He didn't even like try and hide it. How could he be getting upset? Not, come on. <laughs> He's a beautiful man, but he gets uh, He's a good looking he, he gets upset at a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm assuming he was your information. Uh, your, your, yeah, I got, I got, a, a, I got a report back from this weekend's con from Mike that um, Brian Johnson was as happy as he's ever seen him at a con, and he was grinning ear to ear at times. Wow. And Peppy. Peppy, yeah. It was like Peppy you- Le Pew, like I was molesting <laughs> women and shit. I will say this about uh, – Mike, at least he he also did the beard too, because it always looks weird if you leave right the beard and not the you know just do the hair, not the beard. Were um, you happy? Were you significantly happy? Because we were texting, you didn't come. No, I wasn't like, wow, how could he text when he's skipping like this? No, I, um, <laughs> I, I think by Peppy he meant that uh, I showed up on time, and uh, probably I didn't complain that much. Okay. Uh, but other than that, no, I wasn't overly happy. Well, I mean, you know, that's the game face you should have on, I think. The happy face? A game, a game face. Yeah, I, sh- I should. You're right. It's 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 getting really, really rough. <laughs> it's, it's getting so hard. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? I don't know. I just – I don't like standing there for that long. It, it, it's, it's weird. I – it, it annoyed me so much at one point that I was forced to take action. Like um, Ming will literally hug every female that walks through that line. Right. I saw him um, – the, the guy in Spaceballs, like the Chewbacca guy. What's his name? Oh, uh, John Candy Barf. Some girl came up in a sexy barf costume. That's awesome. And, you know, we have the stanchions, so, like, she had to go around. She didn't even make it around to the table before he ducked under the first one and, like, just throws his arms around her. But did he know her or he's just celebrating barf? Celebrating barf, celebrating the fact that she's a female, whatever. Mm -hmm. So... He was distracted, and I I went up to the front of the line, and I asked a girl. I said, "Ming will one hundred percent definitely try to hug you." <laughs> I said, "Please <laughs> stiff arm him and be like, uh, I don't think so." And she went along with it. Yeah, the, there was a guy there who was supposed to. He was recording it on his phone. This guy Sterling, who he said it, it came out fuzzy, so you couldn't see it. But I would have paid for it to come out clearly. <laughs> the expression, and the only time I've ever seen Ming red is like when he drinks. Yeah. It was priceless. The, he goes. He just goes. No. Uh, okay. Like, <laughs> like it didn't fucking compute, man. Like he was. He had absolutely no idea how to react to someone not returning the like the embrace. Right. That of course she just felt so awful because it was so fucking awkward. But, but I, oh, I loved it. Maybe that's what I was. That's, happy yeah, about. that's like maybe that's a snapshot he saw. When he looked over at you and he was like, "Wow, Brian's really having a good time." <laughs> That that could be it. Um, it. It was a beautiful moment. Jeez, <laughs> uh, Louise. Yeah, I also think the uh, there's one other there's one person there who probably wants to be there less than I do, and that's Ron Perlman. I did don't, you talk to him? Did you end up talking to him? I, the Beast. I, I did not. Come yeah, Beast seems not very happy. I've been watching his show on Amazon, Hand of God. Oh, uh, you good? I like it. Yeah, yeah, I, I really like it. I think he's really, really good in it. This guy's been in so much. Why is he unhappy? I, I, but I, is, I say, why are you there? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's not yeah. like I wonder why. Yeah, you're. Uh, you know, you're. Well, it depends. If he's getting like, let's say, let's say, he's commanding even fifty thousand dollars for the weekend. Then you, but then, what you're mad about then? Yes, yeah, uh, I'm saying. Yeah, but like, I, but I. Is it yeah, all relative? It's tough. Because yeah. he's like, he's on a level where, like, you know, I wouldn't think he'd have to do that. I don't think he'd have to uh, go to these cons because he, I guess, he's had a lot of them. Uh, I've seen him at a few, and he always has the same sort of demeanor. Yeah. When yeah. I met him at the charity thing, he had that same sort of demeanor too. Maybe it's just his demeanor. It could be. It's just as yeah. I yeah. think you're right. Yeah, like Jax wasn't there and Juice wasn't there. Those are the two like standout guys. I okay. made the mistake of uh, mentioning on Twitter that I met Ryan Hurst and he was a really nice guy. Opie, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, you know, 
I, I can't meet someone and just be like, hey, they were cool. I am accused of being Ming. Like, you know, like <laughs> who, who did that? The answer? No, I don't know. Some <laughs> ad, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it was also in the same tweet, I think, as a fan duel, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> mention. I saw you came in 44th. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, it's not good. I'm going to have to up my game. There's a senator or a, somebody high up in the um, in the New Jersey uh, New Jersey uh, Assembly who wants to uh, and he wants an investigation of all these of all these um, fantasy league betting thing. Not well, fantasy I saw league that. things. You know, he he really wants to have a big time investigation. And I'm always like, if the government wants to get involved. Shouldn't the, the compelling reason be that there's a negative impact on society? Uh, people are somehow being violated, right? Or there's a health or safety issue. Why the fuck would the government be like, "Well, we want to put a stop to people having fun on fucking Sundays"? Moral, moral morals. Reason. That oh, well, I think that is not the the fucking responsibility of government is it is to uh, instill morals in you sure, why is it takes, immoral <laughs> to uh to compile a fantasy team well i don't think it is but, but I, uh, I think it's because people they're not money. clergy this guy he's just a fucking well, he's just douche a, politician he, he's a douchebag who's like all right well what can i do that will uh raise awareness like it'll up my profile it'll make it look like i'm doing something and it'll say like oh well these people aren't paying taxes so it will ease the tax burden or some bullshit like i'm not oh, saying yeah. fanduel doesn't oh, pay taxes yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. but it's some, as soon as the as soon as fucking jersey can get their fucking fingers into the fucking fanduel money mm-hmm. then all of a sudden it's not a fucking you don't have to worry about it. it is a good, it's a good thing. Yeah, right. then it's not immoral. <laughs> this is, the, this is the, the, the state with Atlantic City sitting there. Uh, yeah, it's rotting. Yeah. I, I, heard it, I heard it's on the upswing again. Uh, it started to be profitable again. I got to tell you, we were there uh, last May. I don't know what the definition of upswing is these days, but it was no. Aside from pretty the Borgata, terrible. it's really depressing over there. The, the Borgata, we went to dinner at the Borgata. It was Borgata, beautiful. It just, just like it's like the Borgata is like Emerald City. Mm-hmm. Like it's just there shining, and then like you go anywhere else, and it's like, oh my god. Well, I'm like walking to the con. They're like, oh, this is the shopping district. I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is. Yeah. It, you know, like a five below and a fucking Annie says or it's something. It's the worst outlets ever. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty horrible. It's pretty there. terrible. But I had heard like, a, well, a bunch of the casinos closed, but now the ones that remain are starting to show like signs of being profitable again. Right. And they're starting to open some other ones over there now too mm. that have been laying empty for a while. Right. So, yeah, just, but I think you know one of the things too is you can you, you don't have to go all the way to fucking Atlantic City for something like FanDuel. It's like you get to just sit home on your computer right. and pick out your guys, and and that's it. You don't have to like stay in a hotel or you know travel. And there's and it, I mean, shit. and there's another one too, um, another one called DraftKings, and I mean. I watched the first week. This was the kickoff week for the NFL, and this is my, probably this is one of my favorite times of the year. You know, the, the weather's turning a little bit colder. Football's <clears throat> football's back on TV, but I could not believe they just hammered people with these commercials for the, the DraftKings commercials. Well, the FanDuel DraftKings. Yeah. I mean, they, I mean, and that's I'm kind of like, geez, I mean, maybe if you're just a little bit lower key, you know. You right, wouldn't the, get on. The it wouldn't get on the radar be. of fucking of all these fucking idiots in Washington, mm. but uh, of course, you know it's all about fucking. Well, we ain't getting our slice, so we want to fucking shit on your fun. I recall one time saying that uh, autumn was my favorite time of year and being shredded. By you. <laughs> like that's a fucking no brainer, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I, I, don't, I haven't met anybody who has said that autumn isn't their favorite time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fucking some people like jumping spring. on the fucking bandwagon as usual. <laughs> so, yeah, as usual. <laughs> You're like, well, what season does everyone else like? <laughs> yeah, I'm in. I mean, I, I really it is really like. I mean, I'm in a really great frame of mind right now. Comic book man stopped filming. Um, it got NFL weekend kicked off. 
It got a little bit cooler out. And there's nothing better than like you know coming home and, you know, and um, laying on the couch with just you just need if you just need that little blanket, just cold enough for you need a blanket, and you got the two dogs by you, and you're watching a football game. That there's not many not many more things I'd rather be doing than that. And you know, and and now I'm getting into this this FanDuel stuff, so that's even more an interest level. We'll enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure, you know what? It ain't going to go away because whatever happens, as soon as somebody kicks some money to fucking government's uh, way, then they will be back on you know business as usual. And well, it's like they the, these betting pools and bars were free to reign forever in New York, and then they started coming down. The IRS started coming down on them. Um, and they just started calling it like instead of dollars points, like three hundred <laughs> points per box. And if you right. win, it's like ten thousand points. <laughs> it's just like yeah, it's like Craigslist, it. where it's like I'll spend an hour with you for a hundred roses. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. It's like just. Do you have? A, I I don't imagine it's this way for you, Walt. You mentioned like laying on the couch, watching mm-hmm. TV, and just cooling out by yourself. Do you ever catch any static where, like, when are you coming to bed? Are you coming to bed? Uh, when are you coming to bed? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> no, I don't. You know why? Because you're, my, you're up to, like, four in the morning. Yeah, I stay up late. And my wife, my wife, like, and when football starts again, um, everybody's back at school. Both my kids are back in school. My wife is a teacher, so she's in bed, usually sleeping by nine nine thirty, so you know yeah. Monday night football. Well, she's a very early riser. You're yeah, you're and so <clears throat> Monday night football begins at nine. Sunday night football begins at like eight fifteen, eight thirty. So like the first quarter, I'll just watch in, in the bedroom with my wife, and then uh, she falls asleep. Then I I I cut out of there and watch the rest of the game with the dogs on the couch. I mean, it, it is like when I say I can't think of any other thing. I can't think of another activity I'd rather be doing at times than that. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy, but um, yeah, no, no. I, 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 I couldn't agree with you more. But no, yeah. I never get like when are you coming to bed. Oh, I don't think God. I've ever, ever had that question posed to me. Um, I'm guessing you, you you've had a post to you it, lately. It, yeah, it's a near <laughs> lately. <laughs> and what's fucking crazy? It, it's not. It's not even like it was. It's not even Suzanne centric. The girl I was going out with prior to this, like for years. Would be like, are you, why are you, are you, up are you late? late? Wait, sometimes, yeah, like I'll stay up late and watch TV. What's like, late? Uh, you know, like one, two sometimes. Okay. But there's something about like laying on that couch and like dozing off, drifting off. Mm. Um, you like it. I love it. I with the TV on? Love it, yes. It's annoying. I hate it with the TV on. Yeah. Well, what's tough is like because the TVs now are so big and bright <laughs> that it's like, it's like a lighthouse. Like, so you can't really do it in the bedroom. But um, I, I love that feeling, of, like you say, of just sitting there and having just that time without being fucking <laughs> harassed into fucking bed like you're fucking 10 years old. <laughs> And it's not like, like – <laughs> All you're doing is sleeping. It's not like, hey, let's fuck or let's watch a football game. <laughs> it's but like just, you're literally going to just lay there with your eyes open and listen to me snore. <laughs> oh, I hate my life so much. <laughs> so what do you say? When it, I'll be right there. <laughs> it depends at times. At times I'll I'll say like I'll be in in a couple minutes and just hope like you know, like she falls asleep because she falls asleep real fast. Other times I become infuriated like a child and will like spitefully get into bed, stop in your feet. Yeah, basically like fine. Are you fucking happy now? Are you happy now that I'm unhappy? Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, and plus Sage is in, in bed lots of times too. You know, like she right. she has her own room, but almost guaranteed at some point, usually like three or four, she'll get up and she'll come in the bed. Come creep in. Yeah. Can you so. identify with that? I mean, I, I imagine you're just like I can't. I can't even wrap your head around that, right? Uh, well, I've I've dated you know a cross section of women, and and some of them, most of them, have been the the type of thing where it's like let's. Like I'll I'll hear the are you, you going to come up? Are you coming to bed? Um, some don't. 
I prefer when they don't. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nice, right? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. When they don't. Um, but I'll tell you what, like sometimes I've found even the coolest girl I've dated, not to say that just because they want you better, not cool, but even the coolest one I've dated, if they're like, all right, you go to bed, play video games, watch movies, whatever, like after two hours or so, like even the coolest girl in the world will be like, you still up there? Yeah. <laughs> So you, so you, have you taken, I don't want to say flack, maybe it's too strong a word, but you, have you taken any kind of a blowback from playing too many video games? No, no, oh, okay. I don't really play a lot. Like, that's, a, that's one of the reasons, like, I never really enjoyed living with women, because, like, <laughs> I, I find, like, I worry about them, and I'll be like, well, who the fuck wants to watch me play video games? And then I won't do it. Right. Just so they, you know what I mean? Just to be considerate of them. And then, and then from that, the resentment builds that I'm not playing video games because they never fucking ask me not to play. And like, oh, in a vicious like, circle. What the fuck? Like, I can't fucking play video games to unwind for two hours. You know how this poor girl never said anything? Now, you and I have, um, in the past, we've been roommates. Yeah. I, I don't think once, like, if I went to bed, was I ever like, well, Q, you gonna, are you going to go in your room or you just going to sit out in that living room all night? <laughs> no, it's pretty good. It's just such a weird thing. I just, it doesn't compute. Like, because if it were flip-flopped, I, it just wouldn't bother me. Right. I just I can't imagine caring. But Yeah, I wonder. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing with women. They, they like that. But it's nice. Isn't it nice to be wanted? Isn't it nice to like for someone to enjoy your 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 body and bed? The it? comfort you bring being laying yeah. next to a Brian Johnson. No, it's hard. It's hard to um, you know to go without that, even for a night. Yeah, I can imagine the hell it must be. You know, to, <laughs> um, as I fucking sit there like burping up my own stomach acid, <laughs> choking, <like, "Bah!" laughs> screaming that there's witches in the fucking yeah, closet. Like, uh, yeah, like fucking having like, terrors. And Was that a little kid? Yeah. Did I yeah. see a little kid walk by that window? <laughs> What's he doing out so late? <laughs> That's nutty. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you would think she would want me to stay away for fear of getting <laughs> fucking brutalized in the middle of the night. Yeah, but isn't it just a matter of, like, wouldn't it be, and I know the answer to this already, and this is definitely not uh, unique to Suzanne, but wouldn't it be enough to just have the conversation and be like, I don't like when you do this, stop doing this. It won't, that won't change anything. No. Right. <laughs> Historically, that has changed nothing, <laughs> yeah. regardless of what it applies to. <laughs> that's a tough. That's a tough situation. Then, if if that com- like if you could have that conversation, it still is like disregarded. Yeah. I mean, she's not. It's it's not every night, and and many times I will go to bed because then Sage, of course, wants me. So now I'm getting the double whammy. You know, mm-hmm. Sage wants me to lay down too. Um. So. Um, well, you. You're like me, too, and I, I, I'm guessing, Walt, you're, you're the same way, too, given your hours, but, like, if I don't have a certain amount of time to, to myself, um, then I almost it, – it gets to a point where in, in some relationships that I've been in where it's just, like, if I can't get this amount of time to myself, I'd rather be single because, yeah. like, I just need that – I need that uh, that internal time to like. Well, yeah, well, that's why I was. That's why one of the reasons why I don't feel right uh, d- during the summertime when I'm when we're doing comic book man is because I find myself falling asleep at eleven o'clock at night then, right. and I'm not getting any of my mm-hmm. my time to um, you know de- decompartmentalize, decompress, nice, decompress, yeah, okay. and and do all the things I usually do. I like it feels like I'm just coming home from work. You know, having a dinner and then falling asleep and then doing the same thing over and over. I'm not getting those hours where I can, ex- you know, it's just sort of think. free roam. Yeah, and do yeah. what I do, and uh, I, I I get very like antsy, and I I that's why I like I feel so much better right now. I'm really, really um, energized. Yeah, summer summer's rough for for you, man. I mean, you're you're around people. Constantly. I mean, fucking constantly, you know. Yeah. That, that's what I, I think also, like, this particular week. I'm surprised that Mike said I was more peppy than usual, but maybe it was because I knew it was the end, too. But it was coming off of, like, um, a week straight of comic book men shit and the photo shoot and now two days of con stuff. Right. And- no, 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 cause, you know, I don't want to complain and be like, oh, it's hell. It's not, but it's just, it's not what I normally do. And um, it's weird, you know, to have 10 months d- to do what I want to do and live the way I want to live. And then these 
too much. I know that's like fuck. It's being a real fucking crybaby, but I'm just saying I'm I'm happier and I feel better when when um when it's over. Right. Not really complaining about it so much. Just no, just the it's state not of mind. And valuable and so right? It yeah, is, but yeah, yeah. I, I hear you. And um, last week, bro, you talked about um, you wanted you were talking about the thirteen percenters, and we kind of made some comments. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how those comments were perceived, but I thought this week we could t- give some talk about maybe the other eighty-seven percent. But I, I thought we could um, give um, some alert. The eighty-seven percenters to um, something I'd never heard before. I don't know if you guys heard this, but it's something that I think a lot of people should be aware of. Um, I, I imagine Q, you you like to be a f- full service lover, right? You do everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like all the stuff that sh- you know, not nothing crazy, but just the stuff that like is expected. Glass, glass tables. <laughs> no, 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 nothing out of the ordinary. But just, just are we talking about the brown again? No, 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 not at all. The brown note. <laughs> We're talking uh, about yeah. talking about um, what a, what using, a lot you, of Italian you, guys won't do. Is what going down, Brutes? <laughs> well, I, just, I, I would like to fr- I you phrase it. In, okay, you really, and you yeah. you enjoy this act. I beyond enjoy it. I, I, this I, is what you. This is your go-to. It's one of my go-tos. What about you, Brian? Uh, is it my go-to? Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, do you? My go-to is hiding on the couch, and <laughs> hoping I hear snoring from the other room. <laughs> <laughs> With one eye open, <laughs> try to be quiet. Try not to breathe. <laughs> Maybe she'll TV's think I'm. Yeah. What the fuck? Man, with the, with the, the, the closed captioning. The TV shows. Maybe she'll think I died. <laughs> well, for guys like you, Q. Yeah. You, I, I really want you to hear this because um, what you love. Yeah. Could be very dangerous to you. Is this because the HPV? Uh, You've heard of this, huh? You got some throat cancer or something? Throat cancer, Q. They think that's what, like, there was a famous actor. Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas, who claims he had too much and it caused his throat cancer. Do you feel that you you would curtail your... No, because I wouldn't do that unless I was in... Love? Because uh, I don't know if it matters if you're in love or not. Relationship. <laughs> what doctor? I was in love. I mean, how could this happen to me? <laughs> well, I want to thought for the eighty-seven percenters out there, maybe who do not know, maybe they should, you know, stop. they should hear this. They should at least stop performing oral sex because of say I don't know. There is a safety issue now at, at, in play. Yeah, but you wouldn't. You would uh, say it's not a big deal. It's not worth. It's not worth worrying about. Well, it, I think. I don't think it's worth worrying about. No, I don't think so. Something in life are worth. It's not like smoking cigarettes. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to curtail certain sexual activities, like I would say, unprotected sex is probably a big one versus something like this. Right. You know. Uh, well, again, I definitely wouldn't go down on the strange girl. Those days are over. Yeah. But is it caused I, – I don't know if it's really caused by people who are, um, you know, promiscuous. I just think it's no, – you- Yeah, I, I know a girl who, who, who had it and she warned me – this is going years back. She warned me ahead of time and not promiscuous, not like a skank had or what? anything. Warned you of what? Had the HPV, HPV. virus. Oh, so, she so just, you're saying she if you have – ahead of time. Well, are, is there a, a vaccine for the HPV now anyway? I don't know. Is that the whole thing? I'm surprised it's you guys like, know about this, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's been around for a while. I never heard this before. Human papilloma virus. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds. Well, you guys, you guys really know about it then. Sure. Okay. I guess the other <laughs> 80, the a, 87 percenters a, probably know it too. I'm the only a, one uh, who's. No, but there's. No, a he told it, it said it it's his go-to. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, he's got to be up to facts. date. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I think that there's a vaccine for it, which means, Walt, that maybe this shit will be stamped out soon. But if you're in, if you don't, how do you how do you get that virus? Do you know? 
Because yeah, I mean, well, you've been married dick. for twenty years, so. Do you have There's you no... ever used? Uh, oh, well, the sorry, male, Q. the male can get the vaccine too. Males can get the vaccine too. Have you ever used something to protect your your throat while performing? No, never. No dental dams. Would you? Maybe uh, think about it just to like maybe you know start you know if, if you somebody like in your stature starts using yeah. it maybe other people then it'll be like well if Q uses it well, like like again. a throat condom <laughs> 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 he just swallows a rubber and it's like it's halfway, halfway down his throat <laughs> halfway hanging out <laughs> hanging out of his mouth <laughs> yeah let's do this <laughs> uh, no because again like I wouldn't do that uh, unless I was in a relationship and at that point. You know, it's a, in this article I'm reading here, um, smart folks minimize their risks by, say, using condoms. But most sexually active adults are likely to conclude that the real and immediate pleasures of this act are worth risking a distant and unlikely case of throat cancer. Yeah. And I that's, you, fall you that. fall into that. Yeah. Hmm. I, I think most people would because, I mean, aside from Michael Douglas, who have you heard of? No. That, like, well, yeah. let me tell you something, too. If, if, I, if I go down there to go to work, if I got the minus hat on and I got down there and it looks like a fucking hatchet job down there, I'm not, I'm not doing it. So you know, well, that has know really if, nothing to do with it, though. Yeah, I, 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 know, I don't but, know if the visuals. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't come at me with a hatchet job. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. All right. Well, I was just because I'm, I'm going to pretend that I, that I take precautions. <laughs> <laughs> I thought <laughs> – In order to spare your feelings. <laughs> I thought it would be nice, you know, to to give – show some, you know, some love for the 87 percenters that we're looking out for them, though. Yeah. We never – we rarely talk about them. We should talk about we, them more. We ignore them, I think. It's very bit. true. And 87 percenter sent in a, a piece of mail the other – a piece of mail the other day that I I thought might be worth reading. Q, being in the entertainment business, okay. you um, – you may be aware of this. What do you got? <laughs> um, fat news. Boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom. Fat news. Ooh, chicken. Fat news. I know how people like fat news. So, now, have you ever heard of Nicole Arbor? No. Actress? Well, I think I've heard about this. Nicole Arbor Walt is uh, from Canada. Let me just give you her um, her resume here. I play for a living. Comedian slash YouTube slash Periscope slash music slash choreography slash producing. Uh, she refuses to apologize for the Dear Fat People video. It's like uh, it's uh, like most offensive video ever, which I. I don't think it is. It, what's offensive about it is, first off, it's almost seven minutes long. Precious shot back, said it's stupid, said her video okay. stupid. Can, can I show you guys something? Because I had a flight. I had a flight from uh, Florida. And you sat next Best to a Precious-esque days. type. And, and I, it was, I was in the seat <clears throat> by the wall. Right, first first row of the plane. I'm against the window, and this couple comes and sits down next to me. Mm-hmm. Now let me. Now what? What are you supposed to do <laughs> when this is your seating situation? Oh boy. Okay. That's. What am I supposed to do when this is my seating situation? I'm holding up a picture that I took. Please note that my arm is welded to my side. <laughs> it's not like I'm on the armrest. Like my my arm. That's a lady sitting next to you. That's a lady sitting next to me, pressed on my side. How fat was? Forget about dripping over mm-hmm. into my side. Completely covered. The armrest is here. Yeah, the armrest is covered up by a giant a fat roll fold of is fat. Going over over the armrest. Her arm is resting on my shoulder, and the heat coming off this fucking person was mm-hmm. unbelievable. Like, well, they, well, they're, she they, looks awfully they, cozy, though. Yeah, they gave she, off, well, well, heavier people do give off more heat. Yeah, but like, what? But how is that fair to me? Like, Remember all that shit a few years back when they were like, if you're that overweight, you should be buying two plane seats and fucking everybody went nuts right. and I would stop fat shaming and shit like that. How the fuck is that fair to me that for two and a half hours I have to sit like this? 
while this fucking while this and look I'm not, and jet blue seats are they're not big they're, to begin with no jet blue seats are actually a little bit bigger are than, they that was yeah. even more room i was gonna say that if that's one of the extra legroom seats I and it's still that paid for the even fucking more room. that that's pretty bad and and the fucking flight attendant like now i'm in a situation too where i feel because i might get recognized i can't even stand up and be like i need to sit in another seat because i'm in a flesh prison fucking trapped <laughs> at the end of the fucking wire over there i'm like i'm gonna get called insensitive i'm gonna get called wow it's her body type how could you fat shame her but meanwhile look at the fucking look at her that slab of a fucking body is dripping all over me i mean that that person easily i mean she she looks like she weighs 350 she, she plus enormous enormous yeah. and i don't give a shit about her going about in a day-to-day business looking like that but it's just like like how like how is that fair to me i just don't get it yeah like was it a full flight? You kind of said anywhere else. Was, I don't know. I didn't even get like a knowing like the the stewardesses weren't even like looking at me with like because you can't say eyebrows. anything. I can't say anything. Right. I would. I mean, well, how are you supposed to communicate that that look? Like, what's the look that's going to tell the wait the the stewardess? Yeah, but the hey, stewardess. this is like like this is my help me. There's a heavy a fat person. <laughs> me. I can't face. do anything. Right. So what you're saying? You're no, bl- you're kind of blaming the stewardess being like. like are you, like, are you all right type thing? Like, <laughs> Well, why would you not be all right? <laughs> because I'm fucking jammed into the side. But look, at the, look at that. That <laughs> Just to point this out again, Walt, this photo that I took, that I didn't have to sneak because she fell asleep and started snoring within two seconds of the flight. That that fat fold there is covering the armrest. Like, mm-hmm. how how is any fucking decent customer service person not looking at me and be like, we got to get this guy in another seat? Mm, I don't know if they're trained to uh, pick up on those. Uh, oh, just as a human the, being, though, those signals, the, those, those, signals. those like those those looks of help for help, <laughs> like of pleading, like, oh, yeah, like there's like, fat all over my armrest. <laughs> I was so, and then I was like, "Do I write JetBlue about this?" Well, well I will. Oh, I'm glad you. I'm glad. I'm sure you didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I don't think you. Sh- I don't think you should. I think you just got to, uh, you know, just put up with a couple hours of. Uh, I got it. It's on me to uncom- put up with it, not it this is, fucking it, it purse, is, quote, it, it, person who fucking comes in here and does this. I'm the one that's got to put up with it. Or will it, or JetBlue's got to build bigger seats then? Or those are some pretty decent sized seats. Like if you fly JetBlue, um, like I took United this weekend from San Antonio, and um, not on the way there, but on the way back, I got. Um, I upgraded to a first class seat just because it's so Ooh. much bigger. It was ninety nine bucks. It was not Ooh. like <laughs> Brian Johnson would yeah. like a, a first class seat, please. Well, so, so actually, somebody else paid. They're like, I don't want this fat ass sitting next to me. <laughs> uh, just because I knew I'm, I'm like, it's gonna be you know a four hour flight, whatever. I don't, I don't like sitting next that close to people and and just like that you don't know who you're going to end up was that first next class to. no no it's just, they don't it's have just first class more. it's like a 35 dollar seat upgrade yeah and it's probably you're saying it's what, not a scam so you're saying why why aren't you flying first class at this point in your career um i don't know if you heard but i'm cash poor at the moment <laughs> No, JetBlue doesn't even have like oh, JetBlue doesn't have? have it, but other other airlines do. Like you should, Why you're, if you... you're a joker, they should be paying for. Uh, well, I mean, I went down to Florida. Oh my! Not a, not in yeah. a joker capacity. Oh, this was. Uh, this was yeah. This was okay. like a family thing. I, well, I mean, after this experience, will you pay the extra couple bucks so you so you're not having to you know. Deal yeah, with I such. guess I'm gonna have to fucking take it on myself to to like because I can't count on anybody being. <laughs> I don't know what. I can't you imagine the stewardess taking on, ta- looking at you and making and taking action and risk losing her job, being ri- and being shamed. She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm sorry, you're sitting next to a fucking uh, a fucking mound of flesh Behemoth. right next to you. I, I'm sorry, you're stuck in a prison of flesh. <laughs> she could. She could have just said, oh, you know. Why well, come here? I, but as soon as the, the but seat. as soon as we both the, know what she's talking about, yeah. And so does the other person sitting next to yeah, you. Why? So why are we all protecting her feelings? She's bleeding into my seat. <laughs> why are her feelings more important than me? But what about? But you got to look out. But you got to think of this poor stewardess. If she is to go, quote unquote, rescue you, right? She could face an onslaught she's Why? fucked but she's not saying she's not saying but it's well, pretty clear is obe- is, it's is pretty clear if, if, if that if that but if that person next to you makes enough noise 
But why? What's she's out of a she job, and, like, and you, you're you in a nice, comfy seat, but she's on a fucking bread line. No, how did she get fired at the bread line? <laughs> <laughs> he's got holes in his shoes. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> no, she's like, she's like, I saw he was uncomfortable because he was sitting like a fucking contortionist. Like, you ever see Ocean's 13? Or Ocean's yeah. 13? Where is she? And where is Chinese she? guy. Yeah. <laughs> but where is she to make these statements? You know, no one wants to hear it. All she becomes is the person who... Uh, you know, singled out somebody on a plane. Right. For, for her, it's – her no move wins. is to wait until something is said. Exactly. Not, no preemptive like, hey, I see you're sitting next to a fucking <laughs> behemoth. Uh, how would you like to move? <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. They should charge for the fucking extra seat. Yeah. Because I wouldn't have bought that seat if there was a fucking seating map of who's sitting next to me and right. the person is bleeding into my seat. I would have bought well, the seat. Well, well okay. But, but you can't – but there's other people you may sit next to though. You can't – you can't sit next to the most to the perfect um, neighbor on a plane. I mean, what if the ne- what if the next time you get on a plane, yeah. you know, someone has bad bo? That happened to you, didn't it? Remember? See that? I feel like that's something I could say something about. Really? Because it's not a society protected thing that I'm not allowed to it's, fucking say that. It's getting hey, close. You should not be so oh, yeah. big that you. It's getting close. Like you can't say thing. fucking anything. But I mean, so there's really you are you are right. best off buying. How many seats in a row? <laughs> three seats. Buying all three. Just buying all three. That's how you should travel, you know. Or at least two. Right. Yeah, you and then know. keep that one in between you. I guess free. it's on me. It's on me. It's always been. I guess. You're right. You're right. Yeah. It's always been on you. I'm just realizing that now, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Dollar Shave is back, boys. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, apparently, they're not interested in uh, Sunday Jeff being the... Uh, no, no, they didn't say that, but they did it give us. Applied. They gave us structure on this one. <laughs> this is a, a sixty-second bullet read, baby. All right, crusty razor copy. Yeah, and so they want you. They want us to follow the structure of this uh, because I mean, are we being handcuffed? No. Okay. Because you can't. Because I won't take being handcuffed. No, they're just uh, trying to think outside. You know, maybe not in our comfort zone. Okay. I used to shave with a razor that was so old. It thought LOL was Morris code. That's one of the lines that we could use. Okay. Do you have one better than that? What the fuck? That doesn't even make sense. Sure it does. <laughs> no, sure it does. doesn't because L- like Morse code would be like da 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 Like Morse no code letters? is something. Yeah, it, it's not LOL. It ate dinner at 4.30. Hey, dash, the L is the dash. The O is the dot. The L is the dash. And then, Brian, there's another one you could use at 8 dinner at 4.30. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> the early bird special. <laughs> um, oh, a, Lord. This one's good, though. It had a plastic cover on its couch. Hey, my mom had Yeah, I was going to say, which meant it was it. Italian. <laughs> <laughs> plastic cover made that couch last like 20-something years. It was moving to Florida. Yeah, that's my mom, too. Ooh. I don't like this last one. What? Its ears were still ringing from the Big Bang. Is that are they saying are they are they saying there's no God? Yeah, there's Dollar Shave is saying there's no God. <laughs> no, no, maybe they're maybe they're saying that God started the Big Bang. Yeah, maybe. All I read a, a, a kind of a sobering report the other day that mm-hmm. they finally have. Now I don't don't ask me the science on this because I don't know. I just read this report that they finally have the tools and the instruments. To measure how fast the universe is expanding from the Big Bang still and how far it's out. And they said from those instruments and, and the, the age of light and radiation in the universe that, that uh, they could tell that our universe is on the downward slope. I mean, we still have billions upon billions of years ahead. What does that mean on a downward slope? Well, because eventually the energy goes so far that it just runs out. And then what will happen? It'll suck back in? And then Everything's gone. Everything's gone. We got flattened, and uh, we, we don't are, have to worry about that, right? We don't know. This is billions, billions upon billions, but we're already well past the halfway point of the expansion. Do you ever think we're about, living, Walt, in a dying universe? Well, I mean, every day we're dying. Do you look at the cosmos? Do you look up at the sky a lot at night? Sometimes. I look at it all the time. Yeah. I can't. I can't figure it out. Do you see a tomb? 
You thought you could? I mean, no matter where I look, I see a tomb. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, no, I didn't think I could figure it out. I'm just, I, I look up and I'm just like, I, I mean, I look at, like sometimes I'd go over the Driscoll Bridge and I would see all those cars, like all those taillights mm. and think like, my God, this is one bridge in one city, in one state, in one fucking country. I'm like, there's so many fucking people out there. Yeah. So many. Like, what the fuck is the point of all this? What are we doing? I, 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 I imagine yeah. it's oh, I dollar think shave. It, I think it has to be dollar shave. <laughs> these fucking hysterical jokes. That <laughs> yeah. I, I believe that they must have yeah. stolen from the notes of a, uh, like off a fucking napkin at the Catskills or something. <laughs> so dollar shave dot com. <laughs> they re- they totally revolutionized the way people shave. Uh, they you can shave with a fresh blade whenever you want. Mm. Dollarshave.com delivers a whole sleeve of amazing razors for just a few bucks. Sweet. Pop on a fresh blade whenever you want. Shaving with a fresh blade feels fantastic. You always get a better shave. Dollarshave.com razors are so good, millions of guys have joined up. Mm. The billion dollar razor corporations are freaking out. I guess that's like chic. And Gillette. They're yeah. Oh, They're going nuts. They, they They're probably, going nuts. They are. Because, you know, they, they, they've cracked the code, Dollar Shave. They said 80% of their executives have committed suicide because <laughs> of Dollar Shave. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever go back to squeezing weeks and weeks of shaves out of your disgusting old blade. <laughs> just piling up. It's like it's, it's, just getting a new job. Yeah. Like, I will say this: like you, you go to a uh, you go to even like Target or something where the razor blades are inexpensive and shit. And inexpensive is like eight blades are like fucking twenty bucks yeah, or crazy. twenty. It's fucking nuts how expensive That's why it I is. Stopped shaving. I couldn't, I couldn't afford it anymore. Yeah, same with me. I freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, Dollar Shave is a good idea. I don't know what this means though. Uh, upgrade to shaving with a fresh blade whenever you want. It's such a luxury and it's a third of the price. Join me, everyone at Painkiller already and millions of others who figured out the smarter way to shave. That's insensitive. What does that mean? Yeah, Join me, yeah. everyone at Painkiller already. But they know you have a drug. They, they, you have you a think that shave. was aimed at me? Yeah. Oh, Dollar Shave. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> why, are they taking, why is Dollar Shave taking shots at you? I, don't, I, I don't have no that, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Join me, everyone, at Painkiller already and millions of others who figured out the smarter way to shave. Join Dollar Shave Club right now by going to dollarshave.com slash TSD today. That's dollarshave.com. No, wait a minute. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash TSD. Mm. FanDuel. How did how'd your team do, Walt? Now, did you pick your own guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did a little investigation. I didn't well, that's do right. Well. We have accounts, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can go there, Q. You have, uh, I think you, you have 40 bucks or something, Q. The first week of the football season's in the books. What would you think? Did you watch any of it, Q? No, I do know that fucking impractical joke has got walloped in the ratings by the first fucking <laughs> Holy shit, we probably went 200%. Well, I mean... <laughs> Fuck football. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But that was a huge game. We're talking about Brady coming off his victory against the NFL, uh, coming off a Super Bowl. You should have fucking went back on that fucking tightrope. <laughs> for that, you know, every I mean, week he should be on that tightrope with fucking Hodo or whatever his fucking name is. What's that fucking yeah. Bell. yeah, you should have Bella back because yeah, I mean you were up against a juggernaut on oh, that Thursday night shit, game. We got fucking Steelers, dreamed. Steelers, Patriots. Yeah. Think, oh, that's a tough one to fuck. Got destroyed. Oh uh, well, you're. This week it's fucking Denver and uh, uh, no Kansas new City. This week. Oh, no new episode. Yeah, no new episode. This like week. you know what? You're, you're whoever's running the game over there. True. Yeah. Brilliant to not to do that live episode on the high wire the, the week before the NFL. Yeah, yeah, that was good. It, what, that guy deserves a race. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You you should have done it against the NFL <laughs> while fucking carrying Barack Obama or something <laughs> like that. Might have beat oh, the man. NFL. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because they do those plus threes and plus sevens where you could see how many people watched in the days afterwards. Okay, and when you we 
take a huge leap back up, but it was like, fucking hell, we might as well not even add an episode. That night. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not wise to air a new episode against them. But, yeah, but there's nothing you can do. We're in football season now. Yeah. And we're on fucking you gotta go for 50 it, man. out of 52 weeks a year. So, yeah, well, has, 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 the, uh, has going up against the NFL changed your guys? Like, we've got to make it. We've got the, the this the punishments have to be insane because we're going up against the NFL. No. Well, they're like Indians don't like football, so <laughs> we really have to cater to their market. <laughs> That's the one, a punishment where we're all shitting in the streets. <laughs> no, do you think that you know? There's, I guess, I mean, let's be honest. I don't think there's anything that can fucking go against the NFL. No, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything on the other the other fucking you know main networks fucking taking on the chin too. No, you got NFL it. is a fucking Monolith. Yes, it, it is on. No, there's not. There's no bad press. The NFL cannot be harmed by anything right. that happens. Right. It's that fucking ingrained in our fucking society. That's right. Yeah, people do love it. I was. I read an article the other day, and I normally don't read about sports shit, but I heard that uh, your your boy Tebow is like got cut again. Totally on the outs. Nobody gives a shit. And he like, did he, well in the preseason too. Yeah, that, that, it's like he played as well as he could, and he still can't get a job. Yeah. And there's fucking. I watch some of these teams that are out there. Uh, and especially when I go look, I went to look for him this week. I was going to pick him on my fantasy stats, mm-hmm. and I, I saw he got cut by the Eagles. But um, there's fucking guy. I'm not saying he should be a starter, but I know he's better than some of these fucking backups that they got that some of these teams got. What is it like? What is it's it about? Because he takes too much attention yeah. away from like it's like he's on the he's your backup, and as soon as your starter, unless he, you know, unless he's backing up somebody like you know like an uh, upper echelon quarterback. If he's if he's backing up like somebody who's not like who's not um, who hasn't made his mark in the league yet, as soon as they fucking fuck up or as soon as they have a sucky game, media fans are demanding. We'll put Tebow in, right? Right. And it, you can't, you know, teams just don't want to deal with that shit. So he just doesn't have a job now, Tebow. I'm sure he's got a, you know, he's probably got a, a talking head job now for. Uh, right. he, that's what he was doing when he wasn't playing. He was a, like a commentator uh. for college. But so that was our what we did right there, guys. Was talk about week one football a little bit. Yeah, we did. <laughs> that was one of our points that we needed yeah. to do. Yeah, that was one of gotta, our points. Now we got to talk about Joe Watson from New York. <laughs> <laughs> Fanduel dot com is the trusted leader in one week fantasy football with more winners and more payouts than any other site. Yeah. This has got to be big. This has got to be a big business right now. Why didn't we do this? How come we can't start like? It's not too late. Yeah, can we go up against FanDuel? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> can someone build us a FanDuel web- website, a rip-off uh, site? Um, go to FanDuel.com and click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner. Use my code TESD and sign up now. Uh, I think as, – as are all our slots filled? I, I don't understand this. I don't know if every week there's more, 100 more slots to play against. Yeah, it says see, if you're doing a listener league, me. invite people to come and play. Yeah. I, 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 get, I mean, you can try it. It was it was FanDuel.com slash smarter than me. <laughs> yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be jumping in. I'm going to be oh, jumping yeah, in. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to get out there? Five forty dollars in that account. I might as well. Is it easy? I love it. Is I it love easy that, to, yeah. you're, you're, that you, that's, uh, that's great, man. That you're like, $40 is enough to make you do stuff yeah, at this point. Course. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, yeah. that I what is it? Fly first class. <laughs> <laughs> what is the? What is it? What is it below that you're like? Fuck it. I can't. I don't. Can't be bothered for forty. From forty, you'll do something. Forty, probably for Fanduel. Yeah, five dollars. I'd probably still do it. You still below do it. five? I might be like, yeah. Forget it. Because what if I turn that five into fifteen? Fifteen dollars? Yeah, dude. Last year, Joe Watson from New York turned a fifty dollar deposit into over thirty grand in two oh, weeks. Come on, dude. Do you know how fucking hard that must be. <laughs> and a special offer for new users like UQ. Yep. For every dollar you deposit, FanDuel will match it with up to two hundred bucks that gets earned as you play. That's a bonus of up to two hundred dollars. Offer is only good for the first fifty people that use my code TSD today. Don't forget to use my code. He always says my code instead of our code. <laughs> he <laughs> just <laughs> reads it. <laughs> FanDuel.com, where every day is a new season. That's FanDuel.com. Sign up today. Nature Box. Nature Box. Boy, I... I at least, Wait, really weren't they supposed to be sending this stuff into Brooks? I got to be on Q. They are the most, one of the most, them and MeUndies. Yeah. And it, turns, and it seems like Nature Box is, is getting up to that level. Um, there are rocks. They're there yeah. for us every week. 
I would dare say that there would be no Tell Him Steve Dave anymore without Nature Box. I I don't even <laughs> want to think about that. You just you just put me in. A, you in just a bad brought position, some, right? You just I'm made sorry. me think of something I would never even want to think about. I mean, we owe everything to Nature Box and me undies. Everything. Uh, <laughs> Practical <laughs> jokers. Nature Box. Um, you know you're going to be tempted to snack, and Nature Box says, "Give in to that temptation." Yeah. But in a smart way that makes you feel great. Nature Box has the most delicious planets, has the most delicious snacks on the planet. It's as simple as that. I'm so excited. I mean, I imagine it's so exciting when Nature Box gets delivered to your doorstep because that's when you get your favorite snacks mm. and you don't even have to lift a finger to get them. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's so good. Nature Box will change the way you snack forever. <sighs> that vanilla granola. Let me tell you, I keep saying it, and and anybody who doubts me, they order it, and uh, they love it. Yeah, I don't think many people doubt you. I've seen quite a few. On Twitter, I do see quite a few people that that tell Nature Box that they they have ordered from them. Yeah. And it is good stuff. I did an an exercise that for that free shit, though. It's not too late. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to, though. I don't know. Can I I use yours? You can if you want to. Like a, a. we had a conversation while someone else was involved, and I was talking. I was talking about Bioshock, and like they have Big Daddy figures, yeah, and they're very expensive. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, I wish that you know uh, they weren't so expensive. I would love to have one to put on my desk. And I was told, well, you're on TV. Just fucking talk to NECA and tell them to send you one. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't, I, like I that. don't think that's going to happen. And then it, it, I took it a step further and I was like, even Nature Box, I'm like, I don't know. Like, isn't that the whole thing about being an ant? Like, now I'm like, hey, man, fucking send me free stuff. Like, I don't, I, if somebody sends you something for free, that's one thing. You go out of your way to start, like, telling people to send you free shit. I don't know. It doesn't seem right, right? There's well, there's something TSD about it. Way. Well, I don't know. I guess the people could be up right now. People are going, didn't you fucking ask for an iPad? Yeah, yeah but that was, fuck, that was a fucking – one, it was, get them. <laughs> one, it was a joke too. That was five or six years ago. That was ago. a joke <laughs> on the level of fucking um, dollar shave though. It wasn't that funny though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like a dollar shave joke. It was funny as a plastic couch cover. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, and there, I, I mean, you want to hear a real funny one? You want to hear uh, – like here's one – here's what if – if you thought the, the first time I asked for an iPad was funny – yeah. I heard there's these new iPads coming out that are really big. Sure would want someone to send me one. <laughs> That's a riot. <laughs> oh! What was, that, what was, what was that one? What you, Rich. Rich. Yeah. Rich. Dude, what are you dude. supposed to order a uh, nature box off of if you don't have your iPad? Walt? <laughs> All he can do. I, I, believe don't me. you dare send Walt an iPad. Don't. Don't you dare. I will break it. <laughs> Go online to get your first box of nature box at naturebox.com slash TSD. Head to naturebox.com slash TSD right now to unbox a world of taste and possibility. One last time, that's naturebox.com slash TSD for your first box of Beyond Tasty, hand-picked, sent direct to your doorstep snacks. Mm-mm. I didn't finish my fat. Oh, you, oh, you got more. Oh, that's right. I just Sorry, yeah. I had a lot of rage. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I just want. I just want to show you the cutting of this video, and this goes on for six straight minutes. Obviously, I won't play it all, but. Fat people. No, okay, so you've seen this kind of cutting right. before. Ooh. You've seen, I mean, it is brutally fucking unfunny. I think the most offensive thing is her, is her, she's calling herself a comedian. Yeah. That's far more offensive than saying anything well, about I mean, fat you don't, people. I don't know. I think there's more people upset maybe who are, you know, Walking Dead's pretty popular. You, you <laughs> do not want to go out there on out on your own and say something bad you, about You know what? You got to throw that to the mix too. But here's the thing, like, what I want to say to this response, what I want to say to this, it's just like, just ignore her. Just fucking but you're ignore not. this dummy. Yeah, but, but not in a way of like, I mean, these are people... 
a 15-minute fucking response, a 7-minute response, a 14-minute response, a 17-minute response. It's it's yeah. like – you know, you know, uh, Like knows. video responses. People are like, here's what I think about your oh, fat shaming, okay, you know. Yeah. Um, but everybody knows that she's an idiot for doing it. You shouldn't be going out there making people feel bad about their weight. <laughs> this is – well, this lady will never know. The accused uh, lady. Accused new girl. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm the victim in this situation. Don't you people fucking get it? I show. I took that picture just because I knew that everybody would be calling me an asshole for saying this. You may have to post uh, What is that? But that picture's to, uh, not going – I don't. I, I think you're putting a little bit too much weight on what? in that picture. Why? Because oh, I don't – Nice work. Yeah, nice you work like that one? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if people are really going to fucking feel for you though. How could you not feel for me? I don't understand how you couldn't feel for me. I think – I don't think – I think it's really um, a first world fucking problem oh, right at this point. Oh, doubt. There's fucking people in Syria who are fucking running for their lives right now. I totally right. get that. Right. So I, I don't know but if you'll get much compassion. This is first world podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the most, that's the most complimentary thing I've heard about this podcast. <laughs> But who? Your first world podcast. How, how could anybody feel bad for that woman in that photo? Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to feel bad, but I don't know if they're going to be um, incensed. On rallying to oh, be well, accused. I know that nobody's going. I'm not asking anybody to. I'm just showing you guys a picture of me crammed like a fucking sardine against the wall. I'm not even like. Look, I'm not. I don't care. Look, hey, big is beautiful. She's hot. Oh, come on. I got now it. You're, now, oh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, She's hot. I get Condescending. It. It's beautiful. I don't care about any of that stuff. The only thing I care about is, please, for the love of God, why are you dripping over into my seat? She can't help it. She can't help? She can't help it? She cannot help it. There's pe- you, know, you know it. I mean, there's a, it's a meta. She cannot Some fly. people are... She, she, she could buy two she, seats. So could you, and you probably could afford more than I, she can. I fit in that properly allotted <laughs> space. But you want your, but you I'm want your imposing. personal space. You're one of those guys that the, that wants their personal no, no, space. No, I want you the value space it. that I paid for. That's it. If she's coming over into my seat, then she should be paying rent on that seat by paying for two seats. Yeah, she does. She definitely doesn't have the right to take up of some of not. your seat as well. That's like take, like like if, uh, if fucking somebody put their fucking their purse on my lap for the entire flight and was like, "Hold this." <laughs> yeah, if that purse was filled with fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hear what you're saying. I'm I being a a person of size. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm I'm when I sit in regular seats, like let's say I'm not in first class as I generally fly <laughs> these days. <laughs> I'm very very conscious about not taking up anyone else's space, and I'm not so big that I do that normally. Like that person is pretty heavy. Yeah, uh, I, I I don't even think if I tried, I could spill over into a seat like that. But I still am very conscious not of not You're fucking um, losing weight like a fucking. Yeah, I, you're I, shedding. I look anorexic now. A lot of people are concerned. <laughs> oh, everybody's so you should be happy, proud of yourself. Yeah, I'm doing all right. You're doing I real got, good. You I mean, you, you mean that's why you got to watch yourself what you say now because you're getting into that area now where you 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 know you could always fall back on. Well, I'm heavy. I can say whatever I want. Nobody. But as soon as you get, you're going to get right. to a point. You're very close to it, if not already past it, where you better. Be very uh, careful like, about what you Look at that say. thin bastard fat shaming everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait till I get to that. I got to kill fat news after that. Oh, no. No more fat news. Now, I mean, like, but I want to tell you, Q, like last week you said something that I didn't really put a lot of thought into. And it kind of went to me, went in one year and out the other. And I think you were on to something more so than – this stance that you're taking now about the I'm not uh, taking a stance. I'm just <laughs> reporting what fucking happened to me. But you were I'm talking about um <laughs> I am a victim. You were talking to like when people like guys I think you're talking mainly about dudes. Right. If you're upset and you're stressed out and you're angry. Oh masturbate. Yes. yes. Maybe maybe pleasure yourself a little bit and we, see how you feel. Clean out the pipes. I found out that Muslims forbade really hardcore don't want people masturbating. Oh, so you think the radical the radical Islams? They it may be 
one of the things because there's a, just a, I saw this article. There's this clerk who said that if you masturbate, your hands w- might turn up pregnant in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says. Uh, I fucking love religious people. <laughs> They're just so fucking crazy. Oh, this is the. Masturbating you can Are get you your. Sure this isn't the onion. Um, Are you looking at the onion? No, no. you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Masturbating can get your hands pregnant in the afterlife. This is this is a Muslim te- TV an- televangelist. But, warns. Oh, why not this life? Like why only in the afterlife <laughs> where, where it would really be awkward? <laughs> and what does he mean? Get your hands pregnant? Like I would get, I think at worst I would get like like my my shower drain pregnant. <laughs> not my hands, it's not like I come all over my hands. Oh my god! But that could be there could be something deeper going there. That like, is there is there something is there more like to I your just stance? Snapped one out, they wouldn't you know, be destroyed. A lot of a lot of angry and disenfranchised people. Maybe if they um, if they don't have the you know somebody there to help them. Uh, with their release, the, yeah. Right. Maybe they, if they were to take care of it themselves, and maybe they wouldn't be. They would. I be. firmly believe that. Really, you don't get you. angry that you're like somebody else should be taking care of this for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I feel. <laughs> I got to do everything myself. <laughs> Even this. <Yeah. laughs> Are you going to come to bed after you get done jerking off? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Turn the TV off. <laughs> Do it in the dark. It's yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> to who? <laughs> we both know to who. <laughs> now shush. <laughs> <laughs> all this. It's interesting you bring that the Muslim thing up, Walt, because there's there has recently been. Uh, a rash of people who have jobs that because of their religion are like, well, I don't have to do it. You have that woman who wouldn't issue gay marriage Mm -hmm. licenses. You now have a Muslim flight attendant who's like, well, I don't, uh, I can't serve liquor. Uh, You have pharmacists who won't give out contraception. Like what fucking world are we living in now where it's like, this is a fucking major part of your job. And you're not going to do it because of religion? No way. No the, fucking the way. The law is – I know this from, from working with the city. The law is that the, the job has to give um, reasonable attempt to uh, accommodate you. I think it's called reasonable accommodation actually where they're like, look, like if it's not interfering with the job, preventing you from doing the job – then they have to give it to you. Mm-hmm. So I think with that, with the flight attendant is at first they were fine with her not serving alcohol. Just other people on the flight pick up the slack. Right. The problem is that it stopped working. Like other people were like, "Look, I can't stop doing what I'm doing every time we serve alcohol." So that she now I have to do her job too. So they tried to give reasonable accommodation and it didn't work. So now I think legally. I mean, of course, not in the social justice, moral, public court way. I think legally they've done all they have to do, and now she either has to do it or, or leave the job. Yeah, not but, good enough though. Everybody yeah. goes to court. Of course, uh, everybody is somehow on the news. Like our our guy uh, last week with the I want to change in the locker room, which was overwhelmingly like people were on the side of the the girls. Like, look, he doesn't belong in the locker room. But there was one person on Twitter, I can't remember the name, but we were going back and forth. There was no changing this guy's fucking position that Is that what is, you're is that what you're setting out to do? Change positions? Uh no, no, not at all. Not at all. Um but I, that's it's one of those things where that would that, this is the t- it was like arguing with myself because it would be an eternal stalemate. I would never back off my position that those thirty girls uh, their their feelings outweigh this one guy, and he felt the complete opposite. And he said, you know, in America, the preferences of the majority shouldn't outweigh the freedoms of the minority, which uh, I, I think is all that has happened, all that happens in this country. And he's like, would you tell a black girl she couldn't get changed in a white locker room in 1955? And I said, if the black girl happened to have a fucking cock, then yes, I would say the exact same thing. That's just my feeling. 
It's a sticky wicket, and what's even better is it's not something that will ever affect me. So however they want to, <laughs> however they want to sort this one out, I'm fine. With what it. if you go back to the fire department? That's fine, dude. If then, you join the Y, yeah, you join the okay. Y. <laughs> so I join the Y, and what happens? There's a, um, I don't care if a fucking so a woman who who feels she's a man, so a woman wants a change in the men's room. Mm-hmm. I'm fine with it. That won't bother me. Will you be tempted but, but it's to that look? woman that's sitting next to you on the JetBlue flight. <laughs> it's not a hottie. I know what you're thinking. It's some fucking hot lesbian. Yeah, it is that, yeah. yeah. Like fucking Bo Derek just walked in. It's like, I'm a man. And you're like, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> you could share lockers with me, honey. Come on, cupcake. Let's suit up. <laughs> uh, it's JetBlue. No, I'm fine with it. Yeah. I don't care. But what happens, though, what happens, though, if you – if then it puts you in a, in a position where, like, something really embarrassing happens because she's in there. You can't help yourself. You look. Yeah. And you have an erection. And everyone sees it. <laughs> what? I mean, then like, you don't, 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 don't jerk off. You'll get pregnant in the afterlife. <laughs> Whatever you do. Right? Um, what happens then? You can't stop it. It's biological. Right. There's nothing you could do about it. Yeah. Sure. You better start running. I don't know. Hey, man. Check and this then, out. And, all of, all of, <laughs> and then all of a sudden. Then you're probably well, in trouble for it. Then you're in big trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with who? With, with, with the person who was like, hey, I walked in there. You know, uh, I'm allowed to dress in here now. Oh, and- so now the woman, you know, she's a man that's pissed at me because I have an erection? <laughs> yeah, you get a rod and then you get your membership, re- it's, your membership it's revoked out, from the Y. It's not out of bounds that that could happen, I though. I mean, the most out of bounds thing is that I'm joining the Y right now. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I, I guess that why why would you join have you ever been a member of the Y I've been a member of the Y yeah alright so why wouldn't you go back you want, you want to get a little bit healthier you want to uh, nah, just work out a little bit something. I'll, I'll just I'll do it like private gym chicken and chase it around my yard like Rocky <laughs> <laughs> rather than go to the uh, public gym again and then, then your neighbors see you you're running around with an erection chasing a chicken yeah man you're really in trouble <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like oh look he's attracted to chickens yeah somebody's like, put them on YouTube and shit <laughs> uh, and then I also had something else for the 80 December centers Bri okay wow yeah I'm really looking out for them guys because I you know I, I know used to I, I love it that you guys look out for this 13 percenters I look out for my, my guys though um, how do I look out for them? <laughs> what do I do special um, did you guys know that um, there's a study done that um, men who do housework yeah they reap the benefits of that in the bedroom. Really? Yeah. That's it cool. goes a long, long way. Have you ever done the housework? Shared shared in the uh the chores? Yeah. Have I ever <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound very convincing. Uh, well I generally but, live alone. Right, but you but you have on occasion, you I've know cohabitated. You, yeah, I, so I'll uh, did you generally help out. Yeah. Well, you know, unless I'm working too much. You know. Okay. I'm not coming home at like fucking 10 o'clock at night and straightening up. <laughs> I got to get this Fuck feather off. duster out. <laughs> well, um, well, I mean, but you have when, said. When I was with the fire department and I lived with a girl, I, I helped out, yeah. Yeah, and did you find that? No, no? particularly. What about you, Brian? Have you? you who does most of the chores? Uh, that wouldn't be me. Okay. So do you find when you do help out a little bit the chores that it's uh there's a feeling of um they say that you know women are very very um emotionally supportive in all ways you know when they see their partners helping out with the chores um no i don't think i see an increase or decrease in, no in, uh, but you have an old school situation kind of going on where you're the breadwinner and she does the house the housework. Right. I think that's a great situation. Not yeah. even not even saying the man goes to earn the money and the woman's home keeping the house. Whoever's earning the money versus whoever's keeping the house, like to me that's that's awesome. I think that's the fucking best scenario ever. The power play that you got that's going on there. You're saying? No, I think it's no. I think that's I think that's shared. I think that's a nice equal shared thing. But think how, but think how great it would be if he came home one day, and just did everything just for one day, did the laundry after out the, earning money all day. Yeah, 
think about the kind yeah, of reception. Yeah, come back from the fucking con. And she's like, I heard you're a peppy at the con. Why don't you do a load of laundry? <laughs> I'll be so emotionally supportive of you. <laughs> oh, my God. That, this is why you're fucking not – this is why you're sleeping on the fucking couch. <laughs> if somebody's working and somebody's not working, I think the person, regardless of gender, has a fucking obligation to – Okay, yeah. To, I'm not saying yes. The they got it. Yeah, they got it. Definitely, yeah. uh, you'll pick it up in that area. Right. But this study, I mean, it's proven fact now. If you don't buy flowers, just sweet. do some chores, and it, it is going to make a world of difference. But what if you pay a cleaning service to come and do it? Do you get the props? I bet you it's not the same. It's not because it's it's uh, there's God. the <laughs> fucking hoops I got to jump through just to get laid. Fuck it. But there's the I'd rather, but, jerk <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather face down a la the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> the, I guess it's the act. It's the symbol. The act and the the amount of your you know the the sweat that you put into it. It's way more meaningful than p- hiring some stranger to come in and do the chores. Anybody I, can do that. I actually prefer to do the wash because even though I'll ask a million times, like, do not fucking put towels in with my shirts because it gets fucking lint and shit all over them. <laughs> and then, like, I, I've got shirts with fucking. Barely contained fury on the <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, like you see my hands like oh, curling up. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, People can see what I'm seeing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> your arm is fucking enraged. <laughs> yeah, so so normally I'll do all the wash just so I know that it's done right, and I don't I don't have to be like, oh wow, look at all this lint all over my shirt. Well, now I can fucking lint roll myself for a half hour before I go out. I don't um, think that's right. Dude. I don't think you should have to lift a finger when home. Yeah, generally I, I don't. Feel. She's a good. she's a, a an obsessive. Lo- you know what? And, but if she cleaner. went out and got a job, and the, and then I then I see everything being fifty fifty. Mm-hmm. Like everything, yeah. it's just got to be a share. Well, I, so I, so bringing home the money isn't enough now in order to turn yeah. her on even more. I got to fucking start dusting shit and fucking <laughs> doing dishes. Well, I mean, uh, well, it's about it's a it's a it's like I said, it's a it's a gesture to be like, I know. What you're doing, I, I see all you're doing. Mm-hmm. It's it's all about a gesture. It's it's not a, like you don't. Even, I don't even think you have to do it even good. I think yeah. like you could just do it like. So it's a scam. <laughs> yeah, I do it half-assed in yeah. hopes of a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I tell you because I mean, I've my whole life I've done it half-assed. Yeah, it works. It works. Huh? It works. It's just about doing it. It's just about like you know. If you do it wrong, and then you know, a lot of time. If you do it wrong long enough, then you don't even ask to do it anymore. Yeah, she, she's like, "What a simp! He can't even do this. I'll just do it myself." <laughs> uh, but trust me, I think someone's using that psychology on me. <laughs> <laughs> if I do the wash wrong enough times, I'll just give up. Here's the thing, though, that I don't like about that, Walt, is that um, I think sex in a relationship shouldn't be about like. I mean, it should be a thing that both. That both enjoy. It shouldn't be like this power play thing where it's just like, like isn't sex like a like a two way street? It's not about the man and about what he wants. Like the woman should be enjoying it as much. Well, I told you, you if you don't want to get cancer, you better stop with that. No, and I can't. Can't stop. Won't stop. Just do a couple, uh. a couple more chores around the house. You don't have to be bothered with that. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't live with anybody. I have nothing going on right now, anyway. But it's not about it. I think you're missing the point, though. You're totally. It's going way over. It's not about actually doing the chores. It's about showing that you care and you want to help, and that just that just fills up another person with like he. It's just a way, another way of showing. Yeah. You care, and when someone feels that, like there's where you where you get that connection. Then, and it's not about like, oh, well, I'll do this because he did that. It's about I'm so right. turned, not turned on. I'm so happy that he cares enough to fucking get down there and and, yeah. and wipe the you know wipe the counters and yeah. you know and clean the piss off the bowl that he could put there in the first place. <laughs> that I feel more connected uh, to him. 
Well, I'm not. I'm so happy that he went out to to work and worked all goddamn day and and <laughs> all this it ain't enough. And yep. Every time we go out to eat dinner, he pays and every. I don't know. Is there anything that comes in this fucking house comes out of his wallet? <laughs> None of that's enough. <laughs> On top of that, I gotta fill well, the dust. I'm talking. To, I'm, not, I'm not talking to you so much. I'm talking to the other eighty percent, eighty seven percenters. Well, I guarantee you, a lot of them, um, probably their wives work too. That changes everything. Their wife, I bet you. Um, I bet you. Ninety percent of the people that are listening right. to this, their wives probably work as well. Then all my all, everything I say is invalid. When once once it's again, I'm not talking gender. I'm talking right. about breadwinner versus. Oh yeah, home. yeah. If you if you're if you're if your wife's going to work and you're not and you're sitting exactly. home all day doing jack shit and, and, and then yeah. and then you expecting her, that's fucking that's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I've seen that situation firsthand. Not with me, but. With people close to me, I've I've seen that happen and just wonder how, it, it must, how this guy uh, breed fucking not the, the contempt. Uh, oh it, yeah, oh, yes, yeah. but yeah, like you know, I come home from work out. and you're still playing video games. Yep. And now you want to fucking now you want now you after you want me to work and then clean do all the chores. Now I'm <laughs> supposed to be this superstar in the bedroom. And, and then you wonder why. Wonder why what? Then you wonder why it's not you're not seeing those fireworks. Yeah. Even on, even if you're doing all those all those risky things, I honestly think that like honestly like probably ninety percent of marriages just shouldn't be together. Why? I don't know. It's so rare to see people who are happily married. Well, you're pretty close. It's like isn't it like sixty <laughs> percent? Like, yeah. Like but why just, why would you think that though? Because just the marriages that I see, like nobody ever really seems all that happy, except for a few people here and there. It's toleration. Yeah. Um, you're seeing the wrong people, then, Q. You you you're not in that. You seem happy, Joe. Oh, yeah. Joe at work. My buddy he, Joe, who's married, he seems happy. Joe Gatto, yeah, he he's seems happy. happy but, How long has he been married? Uh, uh two, two oh, years maybe. Yeah, okay. shy of two yeah. years. Yeah. Is he uh, the only Joker that's married? Yeah, yeah. But so he likes it. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, you have seen some. You yeah, have my seen. Brothers the, just got the, my brother just got divorced. How many brothers? Two brothers. One is happily married. The other got divorced. So that's fifty percent right down the line. But just you know, I don't know. People just don't seem like. Well, are you happy? Not like happy, happy not being married. Oh, I think I'm way happier not being married than I would be being married. But you're not happy. Oh, happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy. In general? In general? Yeah. Now, okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Because oh, I'm usually extremely should... happy. Yeah. Oh, okay, because okay. that's not hasn't always been the case. No. Well, I got really sick. I told you it's a new me. Nice. I haven't. I have been fucking on point with that. What do you mean? Not sweating the small stuff. Yeah, it'll oh, wear yeah, off. So I, happy. Oh, really? Dude, I'm telling <laughs> it'll you. It'll wear off. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to die. Yet. <laughs> oh, yeah? I have that thing inside me now where I'm just like, I'm really I, I'm really happy to be alive. I'm telling really? you. Really? And I tell you a couple years ago that you need, because I said what you need is a, a life. A life-threatening a event? <laughs> yeah. I said right. that. I remember I said, because I thought, I, I, thought I, I had a, something on my body, yeah. and I thought it was um, I thought it was the big not that poison the end. acorn that no 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 <laughs> i don't think you were on i think you were away at this point um but i had something and i thought it was bad news and it made you and it made you go when you found that it wasn't bad news mm-hmm. changes everything all the things that you right. thought were like this is so important to me Without you're like that. holy shit i can't believe i ever fucking was mad about that yeah dude i mean i had bad news that turned into worse news that got that likes that could have went one way, went the other way, and I'll never forget that moment of like, I'm in a fucking bad spot right now. Like shit can go really bad for me, and then it not going bad. I I, I don't think that'll go away. Because you never think you're going to be that young person who no. Who I, I have a like a second or third cousin or something, and he had uh, twins, and his wife died of brain cancer at 31. Like that's. It it, it happens to it people. Happens to it you. happens to people, and it, you just never think that you would be that person. But yeah. somebody's got to be that person, yeah. and, it, you, and it, it was this girl, this young mother. It was so, ter- now, it's you, so terrible. Now, you of all of us have had probably the most. But I think we've all. I mean, to some extent, not as much as you, but you've had some some scares that sounded like felt like there could be something really wrong. Right. Medically. It didn't. It didn't. Change, it didn't really alter you and make you like be like, well, you know what? 
I'm just relieved it's not, and now I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. No. How long you, do you think? I don't know. You know what? I did think that, and it 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 didn't last very long. But I remember, like, consciously thinking, like after nine eleven, all that shit happened, and then it sort of like smoothed itself out a little bit. I remember thinking, like, wow, that could have fucking like everyone could have been totally fucked, you know, like had something bigger happen, like if they had fucking dropped a bomb or whatever. Like, like I thought 9 11 was like, like you remember after that happened, people were very nice to each other. Like now I, I got into a fucking argument with a taxi driver the other day. I almost beat his ass right in the middle of the street. Um, do you want me to like fucking this fucking dickhead taxi driver? I'm going around the circle over by the mall, right? And there's a geese there, Canadian geese, and they're crossing the street. And so this person lets them go, and then I'm the next person, and the next like little pack, like they started to go. So I'm not gonna, gonna run over geese. I'm not gonna run over geese. And like this guy, this taxi driver starts honking, and I I open up the car door and I just say, I said, What do you want me to do? You want me to run them over? And he's like, They were on the grass, you had time to go. And I just that there's something inside me, and I just I slammed my car into park, and I got out. I said, "Shut your fucking cock sucking mouth, or I swear to Christ, I'll beat your ass right here." And he just is looking at me like, "I wish I hadn't said anything about those geese," <laughs> because I was just so like, like I just see red. There's something yeah. something you, clicks. Are I, you? Oh, I know that well. <laughs> are you doing anything about that? That level of anger? Yeah. Not really, no. Like, should I be jerking off? This <laughs> no, I'm should. just like, hold on a second. On a <laughs> <laughs> Come here, goose. <laughs> I, I still have moments like that, buddy, but I, I am now, cause now I treat my, I treat my, I feel like my brain is something that may explode at any yeah. given time. Because of everything that it's been through. So I'm like, anytime I feel that white hot rage that comes out of nowhere, yeah. like I just feel it in my brain. I'm like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, whoa, bring it down. Yeah. Let's, not, let's not have the fucking old brain piece explode. So I still get it, but I, I've been so far really successful with fighting that off. But it would be so easy to just, like I he honks and I'm just like, whatever, dude. You're waiting. Oh, yeah, you're waiting. Honk, you're waiting behind at me, me all the time, and I, I don't. I, yeah, I don't get mad. I, I mean, I may be like, "What the fuck?" But I'm like, it's gone immediately. Yeah. Well, like, do you think that maybe you oh, would do I benefit have anger issues? Would benefit <laughs> from the seeing somebody and, and and getting that under control? Uh, like anger management type thing. Yeah. Yeah, probably I've been because you for a year that you have to get back to therapy. Yeah. Is um, anger management therapy? I, there are. It's an element of it. Yeah. Yeah, it w- it would be included. I'm sure if I told the the therapist, like, well, here's what happened with a taxi driver who said, uh, "Have you, know, you ever had any long. kind of uh, experience with anger management? What 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 does it entail?" I've never had a anger management. I've generally just gone with my anger. I haven't felt that you needed to manage it. I think it's just about catching yourself, right? Like in that. Mm-hmm moment and being like yeah sometimes i mean i mean it's not like i'm constantly exploding i don't have that but there there are moments where i, th- I think I, I think i'm a lot like edgar in that respect where things build and build and build and i don't say anything and i, do don't, you, I don't release it mm. and then all of a sudden it's like taxi driver is like why are you letting those geese cross the street and i'm like i will fucking murder you where you stand <laughs> do you get does that bum you out when you said when you Get that realization, like, oh my god, I'm like my dad, like that, yeah, yeah, that would bump. like that, like if like if if something were to like if something happened and it and I and I had that realization, mm-hmm. like, oh my god, I like my dad, I'd be I would be bummed. Yeah, I tr- I try hard to not take because you know a lot of times I'll present Edgar's if he's like just he, he was like a complete <laughs> negative influence <laughs> as a kid but he really wasn't that way um but but that was one thing as a kid oh like, he had the hair trigger oh fuck yeah like explosive rages and as a kid it's fucking frightening you know mm-hmm. like you would I, I don't like it could like be the most dis- like the most what you deem innocent thing could fucking just send him fucking into oh, a rage. Oh yeah, or sometimes like you didn't even know, like a bad day at work right. equaled like take cover because here comes a flying work boot or <laughs> a set of keys or something, you know. Uh, but I mean, like that. I that's one thing. I like never ever in front of Sage. Never. 
Right. Would I do that? Um, although sometimes when I'm driving, she will, she'll be like, Dada, relax, relax. She goes and she'll put her hand on my arm because she knows like, I'm like, come on, God damn it. Like, you know, get mm-hmm. out of the way or does it work? Yeah. Um, yes, it, yeah. it does work when, when she does it. Cause it make you know, it, makes me realize yeah like the the goose thing wouldn't have happened if she was in the car um i try never ever to do that kind of stuff in front of her if at all possible um but yeah if she was hanging around me all the time and just going relax relax i should just think of her saying that you know but yeah it does it definitely like when i because i've like made a conscious effort to look at things that i think were negative or uh just flat out bad parenting when i was a kid and make a very solid effort to try to like you know not incorporate that into the way i deal with sage so yeah when it pops up it does bum me out and it's like uh yeah i don't want to be like that yeah yeah it's rough Uh, i got one more thing bro you said something last week mm. that made me investigate because i Felt you were out of line, but I got to apologize. <gasps> Whoa. Really? You made some harsh comments about it. India? Oh, India, the gang rape shithole on. Uh, something like got cut out? I heard some of it might have gotten cut out. No, I, I didn't cut any of that out. No, Declan, yeah. Declan said. No, I, I had the file, so I cut out. Okay. I, I, I cut the file, so. I got you. Well, okay. Brian took care of it. But anyway. Yeah. I looked uh, – and I had this idea that I, – tell me – I don't want to – and we'll wait till next week. We'll maybe we'll get – we'll take a pulse from people, uh, listeners online. But I was come up with this new segment, Q. Um, it's called um, Hell Hole. Oh, no. It's called Hell on Earth. Okay. The great the, – the biggest shitholes on the, <laughs> on the planet. Okay. And, we, and I put up to you guys and we discuss and debate. Like I'll each week I'll bring you a different right. st- stats about a, a place on the earth, right? And, and by the, like maybe it'll be like a six week thing. And by the end of the six weeks, we deem the greatest shithole on the planet, right? It, but I don't want anybody to think that we're like like we're coming down or we're look, viewing it through racialist eyes. Well, we already know that most likely we're ending up in the Middle East somewhere. So do we want to just cut to that, or we want to go back six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You don't. You know what? You don't know. There could. It could be Sweden. You don't want to get. Don't Sweden. like. It could be. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> <laughs> let's not let's leave everybody on the table okay, you're, you don't jump right through that's what i'm talking about that could, like right. is there is there a chance we could do this yeah. is there a chance we could do this what i i want to take the like because i i looked up india oh, all right and whoa some rough stats the, oh. the, 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 <laughs> The street, the street children alone, that statistic is yeah. fucking heartbreaking. Yeah, how many just like street children there are? They pay somebody, they pay children half a penny to use the toilet because there's, it is open defecation, is rampant. Well, why did they stop using, why did they stop charging so people could just use the toilets? No, they pay, or to, they're actually paying people. Well, they're paying them to not to use, you, the yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, what kind of a fucking. <laughs> Did you see his eyes? Oh, yeah. Did you see the realization? The realization yeah. <laughs> They're like, wait a second, I got it completely backwards. <laughs> I mean, oh. it, I I don't want like I don't know, I don't want to get too far into it. I want to hear right. some. I want to hear some feedback. Could this be? Could this get us in trouble? I mean, well, I'll tell you right now, India can't take the crown. Because they were a very lucrative market for us, so I can't badmouth <laughs> India. I think I'm telling you, I'm gonna. I could bring. I could bring you stats. Yeah. That you that you will never be able to hold your hat on, and do you ever be able to hold the IJ hat on and, and right. say that you could sway you? They and they say the just money. building toilets is not going to solve the problem because open defecation is a practice acquired from the time you learn how to walk. Oh. <laughs> When you grow up in an environment so where everyone does around? it, it can't be everywhere. Can't, right? Aren't there like cities where yeah. people don't shit in the street? It says India will be free of open defecation only when every Indian household, every village, every part of Indian society will accept the need to use toilets and commit to do so. So it's a cultural thing. They're, so they're like, toilets exist, but fuck it. 
It's 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Install a fucking toilet. What the fuck? Well, it's not. I, There's got to be uh, cultural uh, reasons. Oh, yeah. People yeah. can't afford mm-hmm. it. And in which case, I, now, don't, I don't feel comfortable laughing at them. Well, you know. I, that's what I'm saying. Is this is this a t- is this a, a segment that we could do hellhole? No, wait a minute. Hell on Earth, the greatest shitholes on the face of the planet. <laughs> Maybe if we didn't call them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that seems a bit insensitive. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the term, term. <laughs> we used to call Staten Island a shithole all the time. You you could say Hell on Earth, the worst places to live on the planet. Yeah. Yeah, if you leave the word shithole out <laughs> I mean, I in the subtitle, <laughs> I don't want to get into it until I take until I take the pulse, though. Let's take the pulse. And, I, and plus, I said it really could be it really it could come back to look, where we look like we're you know crapping on. Well, uh, this is what I'm saying. I grew up on Staten Island when the dump was open, right? So and when they summer. why did they close it? It was just illegal at that point. It was full, know? yeah. And I mean, it was just fucking mounds of garbage. <laughs> it was It was in the summer growing up. There were days where you couldn't breathe outside your house because it just smelled like fucking rotting <laughs> trash. <laughs> so I grew up. <laughs> you grew up. In a shithole. <laughs> yeah. So, you, so that's like Brian saying, like, if he, when he was heavy, he's allowed to talk about it. You say that you're, yeah. since you grew up, well, since a, that night, yeah. you're, you're a free <laughs> from criticism. Right. Uh, if you go after yeah. certain like cultures and countries. <laughs> Try fucking walking out of the stairs. <laughs> I walked out of the stand out of the mall with a pretzel. A fucking seagull it swept out of nowhere and stole it from my hand when I was a kid because it was just clouds of seagulls. I lost my fucking pretzel. I did tell you about women in India who, who, are, who, are, who are so backed up they're afraid yeah. to go outside and use and go to the bathroom because yeah. they're free of afraid. Sure, of course. And you're scary. and you're putting up your pretzel story against that. <laughs> It's a seagull. Uh, I'm you, you might lose. <laughs> you might lose. Like a woman can't even take a bus. Like, can you imagine? Like, you're on a bus plus you have to take a shit. Like, uh, as, oh yeah, it's not. And it's not just fucking about, forget it. Yeah, Brian's right. It's not just about the uh, open defecation. It, there's a lot of other horrendous. Hor- I, I apologize. I thought you were coming down too hard on the uh, on in India, but. You weren't harsh enough from what I. It is like I said, it's hell on earth. Really, from what I've read. And now, and is it? And now, like I say, is it fair for three guys who who live in a first world country it's who've never been to that country, and then now to put it on their list and be like, okay, this is numero uno? It's probably not. <laughs> well, there's a there's a right. there's a. I, thought, I thought it may be. I, I, so uh, I shouldn't even bother with it. No, I I say you you write into. I mean, I'm uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell them Steve Dave thirty seven at gmail dot com. Let's we'll take the no, do it on the we'll, Twitter. Oh, on the Twitter, okay. Yeah, so I can look uh, at it. At Tell them Steve Dave. And, I'll lurk um, on it and look. Yeah, yes or no to uh, hell hell holes. Hell hole yes or hell hole no. Yeah, hashtag. And if it's no, I mean, I understand. There's um there's a guy. His name is Robert Young Pelton. He he's he's crazy. He's uh, an older guy, but. He, pub- he he used to. I don't think it's published in a while, but it's called The World's Most Dangerous Places. And basically it's like he goes to all these places, these hell holes, and he's like, here are the stats for these countries. And he doesn't really whitewash it. You know, he's like, right. you know, in, you know, say uh, Rio de Janeiro in the slums, like they will send out death squads to fucking just kill children so that the tourist industry doesn't suffer, you know, oh because God, of course. True? Oh, yeah. Tourists like don't want to go and see like you know chill like a, a five year old six year old child sleeping in the streets like that documentary about Romania remember uh, I can't remember the name of it it's it's fucking haunting but it's about these Romanian street kids and they like huff like this shit called Orlac it's like paint and uh, it was because of that dictator who uh, Ches Chestau or whatever the fuck his name was. And he banned all contraception. Like, you know, we have, everybody has to have kids. So all these people had kids and they got put in orphanages or they went onto the streets and they, uh, somebody did a document. And this is not that long ago. This is like late eighties, early nineties. And they did a documentary about it. And these kids like live in the subway. And it, it's weird. Cause it's a, 
it's a metropolitan area like say New York. Imagine being in a subway in New York and a kid coming up asking somebody for money and the and a, like an adult and the adult just like kicks them as hard as they can to like get them away from them. Like that's the kind of shit that goes on uh, or went on there anyway, you know. And you're right. It's a lot of like uh, Middle Eastern or like Eastern Bloc, like uh, Eastern European countries, that kind of shit. You uh, know? I mean, the Middle East is just yeah, America. but or you know, South America or that Sweden. Kind of shit happens. You know, Sweden is yeah. yeah. You know, let's not let's not you know, like I'll if 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 the if we get the green light from this from the ants and they don't feel it, it's too. You know, I'll, I'll definitely bring you some stats that you know from. I don't. I'm not just gonna say. I'm just saying. Don't assume right. it's all going to be um, okay. All right. And uh, next week, the big tournament, bro. It's a big tourney. Yeah. I'm. I mean, it's probably gonna have to be a two parter. But that's oh, okay. I imagine yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a long one. But um, the one looking true forward three. to it. Do we have all? Um, we have. Uh, we have all the sponsors. Maxwell got a sponsor. I Every, got a sponsor. Yeah, oh, you're gonna love your sponsor, really? Q. Yeah, I, I picked somebody out for you that um, is right in line with your personality. Really? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You very. You know, you're the new uh, me, the new happy me. Uh, well, just <laughs> what, the, what the kind of guy you've okay. always been, and um, stand up. Who stand will guy. and who will appreciate uh, okay. and really go to bat for for this sponsor? And you know, you don't. I don't want to spill the beans yet because okay. it could. I'm but uh, big, so big, big episode. Three possible one treat, one true three rounds. I group. think three. Fuck! I just gave away that seagull story. <laughs> Oh, I hope you're coming better with that than better than that. <laughs> I know people are. Re- I'm really building this up, Q. Uh-oh. I'm hoping you're coming with like gold. Not so, yeah, I would hope. I would, I would hope like the dump smelled so bad that I just shit in the street and no one noticed. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping that you're you got you've got yeah. truths that are so shocking that the audience that it becomes a, an episode that just becomes a perennial like. Right. I got to go listen to that again when Q said whatever. Yeah. Certainly not a seagull stole my pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> it was the worst day of my life. Tell him, Steve, Dave. Yeah.
This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio. Sir, only at smodcast.com.